Hey everyone, welcome to another session on Snowflake related technology. Today we're going to learn about SnowSQL, Snowflake's query language. SnowSQL is the command line interface provided by Snowflake. SnowSQL lets you connect to the data warehouse and load the data, unload the data, run your uh, DML and DDL statements and do all sorts of uh, queries related to your database. What are we going to cover in this session? We're going to look at installation. We will see how to configure your SnowSQL so that you do not need to enter all parameters every single time you want to use SnowSQL. We will also see a demo of SnowSQL and uh, look at different statements. We will talk about uh, use cases of SnowSQL and other you need to have a few dependencies installed prior to installing SnowSQL client. Uh, they include pip or uh, python package manager and few other things which normally will be installed on uh, Macs. In case of uh, Windows you may not have any dependencies that you need to install prior to uh, SnowSQL installation. Let's get started with the uh, installation. Help is the download download option here. Click on it, and then you have multiple options like connectors, ODBC, JDBC drivers, and all that. So we are interested in Snow SQL CLI client. Click on that. If you are on Windows, download the version that is relevant to you. Mine is a MacBook, so I will install this Mac OS X version. Click on this link, it downloads. I open it up and say continue. I'll install it for all users of this computer. Installation type, let's uh, let it install on C drive. I need to let it install and it is done. I don't want this installable. I'll move it to trash. I close. I open SnowSQL in terminal. So I open the terminal first and uh, I type SnowSQL so that I check if it is installed and also if it needs to update anything. All right, so it is installing a newer version. I'll let it install. And at the end, we will check the version. All right, so I say snow SQL minus V. That's my latest version. Next, let's look at uh, configuration of snow sql so that we do not enter all details related to snowflake connectivity every single time we want to connect but instead we will just configure it once and and that configuration is used by snow sql every time you want to connect let's launch terminal so uh, this is where by default SnowSQL stores the configuration file that is uh, under dot SnowSQL folder config file. So as you see here, uh, it stores a lot of uh, details here, including your account name, a region, uh, region username, password, um, and other details. You can also enable other things like proxy host role name and warehouse name schema name and all that but i'll just leave them uh, by uh, default and i will change them as needed so i'll come out of this file so that was our configuration let's jump straight into demo of snow sql i'll open terminal again this is the snow sql command to connect to uh, snowflake 
minus o specifies that i would like to have the logging at debug level so that it uh, records every statement in detail and i'm going to use snowflakes authentication and uh, this is my sanjay katuni is my username and account name is qy something and then followed by the region name so let's get connected it will ask me for password and then I have multi-factor authentication enabled on my account so it will ask me on my lap on my phone I approve it and there we have it we are connected to snowflake the first command I want to show you guys is help which we all need it shows us all the commands different types of commands maybe I should make this window a larger one so that it shows it properly there let's quickly look at the documentation that snowflake provides I search for snowflake documentation no SQL maybe W SQL so I should land on to write on to no SQL related documentation so we have apart from uh, installation and all that go to uh, using no SQL there we have list of similar commands and then a um, lot more than just that you have uh, examples of how to use variables how to create your own batches so that you can automate uh, data loading or things like that how you can export the data using different commands and a uh, lot of other commands that uh, NoSQL supports here uh, for this demo we will take a quick look at a few commands so that you get a good hang of the CLI getting back to our snow sql interface uh, in order to clear the screen we can say system clear exclamation system clear the first thing we will do is um, use a warehouse right now there is nothing selected here as you can see to begin with we'll choose a virtual warehouse uh, which is called use warehouse healthcare DW so as you see here it got selected here earlier it was no warehouse and then we will use healthcare database in that sorry schema in that no clear so um, the next thing I want to show is um, list out all the tables within this schema show tables will show you show tables not table so there we have a list of uh, tables maybe we'll take a look at one of the table select star from cities just two cities there star from customer referral so there we have some records now let's say I want to drop the table customer referral there it is dropped let's say I want to create a table to speed it up I'll copy the command this creates a table called sales trans sales transactions and uh, uh, one last command I would like to show you is uh, the list of queries so if if you type exclamation Q queries it will show you all the commands that you have issued so far okay so and also where the status of that whether it failed or it was successful and things like that also exit this by issuing the command exclamation exit 
there we have switch back to presentation so we are done with the demo of snow sql now some use cases where do we use this typical usages of snow sql are to automate uh, snowflake related data either it could be data ingestion or maybe a bunch of uh, sql statements or maybe extraction of data and then sending it to some other um, destination those kind of things can be automated very easily with snow sql i felt that uh, one of the best ways to automate data ingestion or, or data loading or any kind of scripts with snow sql was using uh, python so maybe in a, in another video probably i'll demonstrate that uh, about how to use python um, to use a snow sql together uh, snow sql and python provides almost all functionalities and features that you would expect to automate with data warehouses so that's a wrap for snow sql we learned about what is snow sql installation we saw the configuration of that and we saw demonstration of uh, uh, how to get connected with snow snow sql and executed a bunch of queries and then we also discussed about other related information of snow sql how do we automate and things like that i hope this snow sql video was useful to you if it was give it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends please subscribe to the channel to get future updates on more of such videos thanks